Hey everyone, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. Today I'm going to be showing you a fantastic soup, chicken gnocchi soup. Now I don't know if you're familiar, but Olive Garden has a soup that's just called the same exact thing, chicken gnocchi. So this is my rendition of that. It's probably not exactly the same, but it's to me, in, in my opinion, better only because you don't know what they put in theirs, but you know what you put in mine. So it's really simple. Everyone will think you spent forever to make it, but you didn't. So. <laughs> Let's go over the ingredients. So you're gonna need a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, flour, butter, celery, onions, shredded carrots, freshly minced garlic, some spinach, and then some fresh parsley. You can use dried parsley if you want to. And then some already cooked chicken. Now you can go to the store and get um, rotisserie chicken or you can just use chicken that you have left over. Throw whatever you want in there, it's fine. You're gonna need some potato gnocchi. Now this is kind of difficult to find in the stores, but usually, like in your regular grocery stores, you can find it in the dried pasta section. If you can't find it there, sometimes it's in the freezer section, or if you go to like more of an upscale grocery store, you can usually find it freshly made, where they make all their pastas and stuff like that. So that's where you find that. Then you're gonna need some chicken stock, half and half, some Italian seasoning, rosemary, salt, and pepper. And that's really it. It looks like a lot of ingredients, but it's really not. I just, it's just because it's all in these little bowls so I can show you that it looks like it's a lot. <laughs> so let's go over the stove and get to cooking. Woo! <laughs> all right, first step, I put my olive oil in the pan and it's warming up. So we're gonna melt our, or melt our butter into our olive oil. Okay, that's just about melted, so we're gonna go ahead and throw in our onion, celery, and our garlic. And then we're just gonna cook this until the onion's translucent. So while it's cooking, we're gonna amp it up, season it with salt and pepper, because you wanna season every layer of your dish. Okay, our onion is somewhat translucent. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a roux. So I'm gonna add my flour in. If you like your soups really, really thick, add more flour. And you're gonna continue to mix this. Don't stop mixing it because you don't want it to burn to the bottom of the pan. And let it cook out, the flour taste cook out for about two minutes. It's been cooking for about two minutes. Now I'm gonna switch over to my whisk and I'm gonna add in my cream. My half and half, I should say. My chicken broth. And I'm gonna whisk that all together. And as it gets hotter, it'll start to thicken up. All right, now this is at a slow simmer. It's thickened up quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and turn down the heat. And we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt. I wanna season every layer. Pepper again. Our Italian seasoning and rosemary. Our parsley, shredded carrots, our spinach, our rotisserie chicken and of course the gnocchi. Okay, so we're gonna bring this to a simmer and we're gonna cook this until the potato gnocchi is all the way cooked through and nice and tender. And depending on what kind of gnocchi you have, whether it's frozen or it's the dried pasta type, it'll say on the packaging how long that should take. So I'm gonna leave this for about 25 minutes and we'll see what it looks like when it's there. Okay, it was on the stove for about 20 minutes. As you can see, it's thickened up quite nicely. Our gnocchi is finished cooking. Now there's a couple things that I wanna mention before I tr try it. On the back of your package, when you buy the potato gnocchi, it's gonna say that you have to boil it in water, you know, cook it first before you add it to anything. I don't do that, I skip that step entirely. And I actually find that by doing that and cooking it in this as opposed to water, it comes out way more tender and soft and gooey as opposed to if I boil it in water, it's more hard. And I don't really like that. I like it to be nice and soft and tender. The next point I wanna bring out is if you want more of a chicken flavor, you can add chicken bouillon cubes to this. That'll enhance the chicken flavor. Because a lot of times if you use boiled chicken, it'll be bland. So if you use a rotisserie chicken, you might not have to do that because rotisserie chicken has a lot of flavor. And a third point I wanna bring out is if you don't wanna use half and half and you're trying to be good, you can just use regular milk, 2% whole milk, 
but preferably you want to use the half and half because it's going to taste a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and serve this baby up. And I like to put some freshly grated parmigiano on top. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Woo, but it's hot. The texture is super creamy. It's very decadent. The potato gnocchi is perfectly tender. It just melts as soon as you put it in your mouth. The carrots are all the way cooked through. The, chick the rotisserie chicken definitely adds a lot more flavor to this as opposed to just boiling some chicken with no flavor and adding it. This was so simple to make, quick, easy. Everyone will love this and it tastes a lot like the Olive Garden one, but better because you know what's in it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and making this recipe. If you want all the ingredients, look in the description box below and I'll list them all there with the measurements. If you remake this, please tag me on your Instagram photos because I would love to see it. Don't forget to like, subscribe because I have many more recipes to come. So I'll see you soon. Bye.